WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Thursday morning, 30 minutes in the trading day. And we got markets starting off to the downside, escalating to the downside right now as we speak. The S&P is negative by 43 points. You see the acceleration I have up there on the chart. This is one minute bars, folks, I put up there. From 8.30 a.m. alone, we've now traded from 32.28. We're at 32.08. I'll put this on a five minute bars for a little bit of context. Here's your action overnight. We trade lower. Bounce it around between about 32.20 and 32.30, but really the escalation begins. As I said, at about 8.30, we're now trading at 32.10 in the S&Ps. NASDAQ futures off 146 points, 10,526. Big day of NASDAQ earnings as we uh, await Amazon, Alphabet, Apple, and Facebook, I gotta get them all out, there's so many. Uh, after the bell tonight, the Dow off 345 at 26,095 right now. Gold contract off $8 at 1968, made it within a couple dollars at 2000 yesterday before trailing off a bit. We got silver off 92 cents at 2340. The oil contract off a buck 04. Oil trading south as well, $40.24. And how about notes and bonds with some higher price? Look at this acceleration. We're up almost a full point going on since where we were on early Tuesday. And you put this in some context, you got the 10 year up 10 ticks at 140.01. And I was talking about this earlier in my program, folks. We are now above this level. Look at this rise in the price of the 10 year. We haven't seen these levels since that quick spike we had on one day of March 9th, correlating to the market lows that we reached 140.24. We're looking at a 10 year yield sitting at about 0.55%. Remarkable action in that 10 year. All right, let's jump around to some of the stocks with earnings so far already this morning. United Parcel out with their numbers trading higher from 123 to 133. Duncan Brands out with their numbers, actually trading lower from 71 down to 70. Uh, who else do we have? Who else do we have? We got Yum Brands out with their numbers. A little bit of volatility down to about 93 from 94.80. We talked about O'Reilly Motive right towards the end of my program, right? From 455 to 44. Qualcomm with big numbers as well from 93 to 103. And uh, should be an interesting day in the markets, folks. And don't miss it. For the first time, you get the president out there as they're talking about in the den. Our man Ruby saying, uh, president of the country, asking whether we should delay the election. Uh, and, and I like that first reply. Kids can go to school, but we can't vote. We'll see if that starts to be the mantra, folks, and whether that hits the market. Stay tuned for our man Larry Pesavento. He's coming up next.